All right, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over the intro to amino acids. Amino acids are the building blocks of protein in your body. You're probably wondering why use amino acids in the first place? Why not some other material in your body? Well, amino acids have really unique abilities that other materials don't have. One of them is they're able to polymerize. What this means is amino acids are able to join together and create infinitely long chains. Think about um, Lincoln Logs if you were a child, or Legos. One Lego is not really enough to do something, but if you build and stack on top of it, you can actually create something pretty significant. Another unique property is acid-base properties. <laughs> when you go over the amino acids in a later video, all 20 of them, you're going to notice that most of them are actually negatively charged. This is very important for many reactions and enzymes. Another unique thing is the structure. Amino acids or proteins are able to be folded. What this means is that if I were to take this amino acid and join it together and make a really long chain, yes, that really, you know, you made a long chain, but that doesn't actually do anything. It's basically inactivated. In order for it to be activated and have a function, it needs to be folded into a very specific shape. Then it is activated and then it can do something in your body. And it also has very various chemical properties and functions. The biggest thing is, is this like the key for biochemistry here is enzymes. Enzymes are proteins. And since amino acids make proteins, this is basically saying that amino acids are essentially enzymes. And enzymes help catalyze reactions that make them go faster. They reduce the activation energy. That's something we're gonna go over in a later video. But this is so important for biochemistry. So there are 20 amino acids in the body. They all share similarities, but also key differences. Let's, well, let's take a look. So the first thing you're gonna notice is the center molecule. All amino acids have a center carbon. This is this carbon right here. This is called the alpha carbon, the center carbon. The center carbon, or the alpha carbon, is always tetrahedral. There's always four things bound to it. And we're gonna go over those four things. So all amino acids have a carboxyl group. This right here is the carboxyl group, and it's acidic. That's very key to understand, is that the carboxyl group is acidic. And it is attached to the alpha carbon. All amino acids also have a basic amino group, which is this guy right here. It's bound to the alpha carbon as well. So that's two things we covered that's bound to the alpha carbon. The third thing is that all amino acids have one hydrogen, at least one hydrogen bound to the alpha carbon. That's three things. Now the fourth thing is when it gets a little bit different here. So all amino acids have an R group attached to the alpha carbon. So the R group is literally anything. This is what makes amino acids differently. The reason we have 20 amino acids in the body is this is the same, right? The amino group is the same. The carboxyl group is the same. The hydrogen is the same. The alpha carbon is the same, but what makes the 20 amino acids different from each other is the R group. Each of the 10, 20 amino acids have a different R group. That is very key to understand, is that that's why there are 20. Now, there's a little disclaimer here that amino acids, proline and glycine, don't really actually follow these rules. For example, let's talk about glycine for example. For example, glycine, instead of the R group, it's actually an H, which is technically still an R group, I guess, 
just to make it simple, just think of it, an, think of it as an R group. But glycine is the simplest amino acid we have, and it's basically just an H. So that's why I said at least one H, one hydrogen when talking about this one. It's because glycine has two hydrogens bound to the alpha carbon. But don't worry about that stuff. We're going to go over in a later video. I just want you to make, you know, know these, the stuff right here. Is that we have an alpha carbon. This is the basics of amino acids. All amino acids have this. Is an alpha carbon. One alpha carbon, at least. They, they could have many carbons, but only one alpha carbon, if that makes sense. So I like to think about this as the center. Or like, think about like a control center. Let's talk about like a control center. To the control center, we have a carboxyl group, an amino group, a hydrogen, and an R group. And that is all you need to know for this video. This will be the introduction to amino acids. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell if you found this helpful. And until the next video, Later.